Hello, my name is Nikki Lamb from the Neil Squire Society, and this presentation is on Characteristics of a Good Team Member. This presentation will advance by itself. All you need to do is observe and listen. I will read and explain all the information as we go along. So what are the characteristics of a good team member? First, a good team member works for consensus. Works for consensus on decisions. And what that means is strives for agreement by all members of the team on the solutions or decisions being made. Very often this involves compromise. People may have very many different ideas of what the best solution is and often compromise has to be made. Secondly, a good team member shares openly. When I speak to sharing openly, I mean openly and authentically with others regarding your personal feelings, opinions, thoughts, perceptions about problems and conditions. This means sharing what you really believe, not just going with the group because that feels easiest. If you disagree with something, finding the strength to say, you know, I, I feel this is the best solution. Say your truth. I'm not speaking in an argumentative manner. We're not interested in having arguments on a team but sharing your truth openly. When everyone is truthful on the team and shares their real opinion, things get solved better, quicker, and best for the organization or the team. Involve others is another aspect of a good team member. So involve others in the decision-making process. Ask others for their opinions and take all opinions into account when making decisions. Again, compromise. See if all of those opinions can work together somehow in the solution. And trust. Trust is extremely important. You need to trust one another to have a good functioning team. Trust and support has a genuine and have a genuine concern for your other team members. Sometimes this is difficult. If you have personal issues with a team member and find it very difficult to trust them, an exercise that works is to every day for 30 days write down one positive thing about that person. Every single person has positive characteristics. If you will find and select and focus on and nurture the positive characteristics in the person, it will go a long way to helping you to begin to trust that team member and what that team member brings to the team as a whole. Own your own problems. A good team member owns problems rather than blaming them on others. An example would be if you didn't complete the work that was required on time. When speaking to the team, own that problem. Say something like, I'm sorry I didn't get it done, and leave it at that. Don't say, well, I didn't get it done because of Bill made me do this and Jane made me do this, and that's going to cause some kind of unrest in the team. Own your problems, apologize, move forward. Every single person in the world makes a mistake. It's not the worst thing ever. Apologize and begin again. Active listening, extremely important for a good team member. When you're listening, you attempt to hear an interpretation, interpret the communication from the other's point of view. If you don't quite understand what the person is saying, ask for clarification on what they mean. Ask them to tell you exactly what they mean so you understand what they're sharing. Respect. Respect is extremely important among team members. A good team member respects and is tolerant 
of individual differences. It's okay to disagree with one another, but it's not okay to be disrespectful when doing so. A good team member acknowledges conflict, acknowledges and works through conflict openly. If you disagree with someone's solutions, state that you disagree. Again, not in an argumentative manner, just state simply, I feel this, I disagree with that. Don't keep the feeling inside and feel angry and carry that with you, or later talk to the other team members behind the person's back. Sometimes when conflict arises in teams, after the meeting or when the team separates, someone who is angry or disagrees with something will try to speak to team members separately and try to get them on board and try to divide the team. That's the worst thing that can happen to a team. Be very, very honest and open in your team environment. Share what you agree with. Share what you don't agree with. A good team member considers new ideas, considers and uses new ideas and suggestions from others. You may be very, very sure that you have the perfect solution, but listen openly to all ideas. There are no bad ideas, really, and any and all ideas may have some merit in solving the problem. So listen openly. Something in someone else's sharing may enhance your idea. That's how a team works together. A good team member encourages feedback. Encourages feedback on own behavior. This is opening, openly listening to others' opinions on your behavior as a team player, but it does not accept or include personal insults. An example is if someone on your team says, Mike, I think you're kind of dominating this discussion. I think we need to let others have a chance to speak. That's feedback on behavior. You may feel a little insulted, but he's only speaking to your behavior at that moment. If somebody says, Mike, you're a big mouth, you're a blabber mouth, and you talk over everyone, that's personal insults. There's name calling, there's degradation, there's insult. That's not okay. But encourage people to share with you what you bring to the team, positive and negative, and view it as an opportunity to better yourself as a person. A good team member is committed, understands, and is committed to the team objectives. In order to be a good team player, you need to be fully committed to the team objectives and be able to participate fully as a team player. For example, if you're working on a team that is a fundraiser for um, a nonprofit or a charitable cause, but if you don't really believe in the cause, then you can't be fully committed. You need to be fully committed. You need to really believe in what the team objective is for you to be able to really participate as a full team member. A good team member does not engage in win-lose activities. What that means is you do not engage in win-lose activities with other team members. This means you do not encourage sides, power struggles within the team environment. The team needs to work as a solid, cohesive, together unit. There can't be sides. If there's sides in a team, very, very quickly, very often, that team just dissolves. And the last slide in this PowerPoint presentation is your quote by Andrew Carnegie. Teamwork is the ability to work together toward a common vision, the ability to direct individual accomplishments toward organizational objectives. It is the fuel that allows common people to attain 
uncommon results. This concludes our PowerPoint presentation on how to be a good team member. If you have any questions on this presentation, please do not hesitate to contact your assigned facilitator.